Good evening. We have some snow showers pushing through the area, and right now we're seeing some snow showers. I think we might be even seeing a little bit of a mist mixing in as well as we take a look out over the airport. But notice not sticking to the ground currently. But as temperatures begin to fall, a few slick spots will be possible as we head throughout the evening hours and into overnight tonight. We've seen these snow showers push through. We even had a heavier band that pushed through southern Mahoning County, worked its way into Lawrence County. That dropped a quick coating in a few spots across the area. But right now we're dealing with just some light snow showers area wide. And we'll see a few snow showers as we head throughout the evening hours. You can see what we have is this upper level trough. This is going to swing through. And as that does, that is going to continue to develop some snow showers across the area. But once this pushes through, we'll see those snow showers start to come to an end as we head into the day tomorrow. Temperatures today have been in the 30s from start to finish. We climbed to about 30 to 4 degrees at the airport. And now temperatures are down right near the freezing mark. We'll drop down into those 20s as we head into overnight night, mid 20s for morning lows. Now, speaking of 20 degree temperatures, that's what it feels like currently. We do have some breezy conditions area wide, and we're seeing wind chill values in those low to mid 20s for most, even feels like 19 degrees in Cortland. 18 degrees, the current wind chill value out in Stoneboro. So for this evening, we see those snow showers around. They'll come to an end early and we'll see an isolated snow shower or flurry overnight as temperatures dip down into those mid 20s. For your Friday, isolated snow shower will be possible to start the day, but I do expect most of the day to be dry. We will see mainly cloudy skies, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few breaks in the clouds with temperatures climbing into those low 30s. Now by Friday evening, we're going to have our next disturbance quickly push through, and that's going to bring that potential for some light snow showers Friday evening into Friday night. Not expecting much in terms of accumulation of coating at most across the area. And then for your Saturday, snow shower possible to start the day and then an isolated flurry or rain shower during the second half of the day as temperatures climb into those mid to upper 30s for highs. So overnight tonight, those snow showers really get coating to an inch possible especially where we see some of those heavier bursts of snow as temperatures dip down into those mid 20s for the day tomorrow. Isolated snow shower early, mainly cloudy skies, high temperatures right near freezing. We're a tad warmer for the weekend, upper 30s, low 40s. Sunday, our next disturbance is going to push in. That's going to bring rain showers with a few snow showers mixing in. And then for next week, unsettled weather and cooler weather. Highs, upper 20s, low 30s, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday.